Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. And we are now here in Blender. Now, when you open up Blender, um, the dev kit in there is going to be called the Eternally Bouncy <laughs> uh, BBL Body or something like that. Uh, when you open it, it's going to look just like this. You're going to see there's a skeleton over here. Uh, the UV window is open and everything is prepped for you to start working. Now, the first thing we have to do is prep our body uh, in order to get things going. One thing that I did notice in the last video I did with this body is that I left the dev kit in Cycles Render. My bad. We're going to switch it over uh, from Cycles Render to Blender Render. This will make it a lot easier for us to bake. I know Cycles gives you more beautiful bakes when you do it because it uses lighting and calculations on reflections and all the rest of the jump. But that's a little advanced. And we want to just... Get with the stick with the basics here. You guys learn the advanced stuff on your own time. <laughs> we're all about the basics here at the Mighty Ginkgo. So we're going to switch it from Cycles Render down to Blender Render, and that's a little bit easier for us. Now we can't make clothes on a skeleton, so we need to suggest suggest <laughs> we need to select our body so that we can start working on it and making clothes. So I want you to turn your attention over here to the right side of your screen to this window over here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it's easy for you to see. This is called our outliner and this outliner has all the components that make up this uh, Blender dev kit. Now here you'll see two selections for you that is really going to pique your interest. Uh, one of them is the BBL mesh body dev kit and then you'll see that there's a little eye here and the eye is closed. If you click it you'll see a body pops into existence. The body dev kit allows you to make um, items for the body like on the body that need to be really close on to it like um, let's say you want to make a pair of nipples or nipple rings or pasties or something like that you would use this body um, layer for making those kind of things but if you wanted to make clothes you would select the option right here that says clothing layer and we would just click on this little eye and it opens up a another body now it looks the same as the clothing layer the body layer but let me assure you that they're totally different bodies um, one is a little bit bigger than the other that allows clothes to fit onto it and it's blue <laughs> so um, with that you're going to use the blue body here for making clothes because that's what we're going to do in the tutorial we're making clothes so once you get this swing of rigging you can use the regular body one for making attachments but right now we're going to focus on making clothes so just click on the clothing layer and check open that eye and then we have our proper layer for making clothes our clothes dummy now as I don't need to tell you that this body is fairly thick and its thickness, although one of the charms of it, is actually going to be a downfall for us when we make clothes for it in Marvelous Designer. That's mostly because of this area right here. Let me close the bone so I can show you clear. You see how the thighs are kind of thick right here? This is problematic for us for a number of reasons. But the main reason being that... Um, when you go to sew your clothes together, there's no gap for the seams to come together. So if you were to leave the legs in this current state, let me scoot this down a bit. So if you leave the legs in their current state right here, the pants will fuse to this corner or something and it will fuse onto this leg and they'll make one big mono pant. And no matter how much fixing you'll do, the only way to fix it is to cut a big hole into your leg and then fill that hole in. And, you know, it's a really big mess that we can avoid by taking a single, like, a step before we export the body out to be used for Marvelous Designer. So what we need to do is prep the body so that we can make some pants for it. And that's simply just spreading the legs apart. A little bit so that we can get a nice uh, flow so the pants can flow easily between the legs and the thighs and stuff and give you that you know stuff that you need so we're going to hold down shift and we're going to select this layer underneath the first layer oh these little boxes down here you're going to get used to using those these are called layers in blender and you'll see that if there's 
no dot inside there, that means that the box is the layer is empty. But if there is a dot in there, that means that there's something there. I'm not sure what's down here. Hmm. Anyway, um, so what we're gonna do is click the first dot. We're gonna hold down. Let me turn my screencast on. We're gonna hold down Shift and we're gonna select the second dot. And this activates two um, layers at the same time. Next, we're going to click on the bones. And then once the bones are highlighted orange like this, we're just going to go down to the, side, the bottom of the screen where it says object mode. And we're going to click. And then we're going to go into pose mode. And you see the bones change color, which is good. Then we're going to click on this blue bone right here in the leg. Whoops. I accidentally clicked on the body. <laughs> and then we're going to press the R key. And then we're just going to spread the legs apart just a little bit. And then we're going to press R again. Click on the bone, the other, the bone on the other leg. And then we're going to press R again, and we're going to spread apart too. There we go. Now we got just enough space in between there to, well, we got more than enough space in there to um, make pants, which is great. Now, if you don't want to make pants and you want to just stick with t-shirts, you don't have to spread the legs. But if you're aiming to make some pants with this body, you're going to have to spread them legs. <laughs> Alright, sorry. I, I tried my best to be mature about that. But it, we we all giggling, right? Alright, so um, once we have our body prepared, we are now ready to export it out so we can use it in Marvelous Designer. So I'm going to right click on the body right here. And you see there's a nice orange outlook. We're just going to select the body. We don't need to select the bones or anything for this. We're just going to select the body here. And then we're going to go up to the top where it says File. Then Export. And then you're going to go down to Wavefront OBJ. Now before we export it out, we're going to do a, for a thing. Um, we're going to scroll down here to the Operator Presets. And we're going to make sure that this box right here that says selection only is checked. So if it's unchecked like this, you want to check it and make sure that that's selected. That means that it will select only what we selected inside of Blender and nothing else. If you are getting multiple bodies and everything else more than what you selected, just make sure that you have that box checked. That box isn't checked. So once we check that box, we're just going to press this little plus button. And this will let us save it as a, a template. So from now on, when you go to export your stuff, you don't have to worry about, did I check that box? You definitely know it's checked. So you can name it whatever you want. Marvelous Dummies or whatever. Doomies. <laughs> and now when you go into your pre operator presets, you can just check the box and you'll see all your settings are checked. So it's a little tip for you to keep things organized. Next thing we're going to do is they're going to go to maybe our desktop. And we're going to create a new project folder. I already have one over there from the last one, but we can create a new one. And we're just going to name it BBL Body. Uh, well, you guys will leave it at BBL Body. But for me, since I have one, I'm just going to name it BBL Body 2. <laughs> and once we have it, we just save it and then export our OBJ. Give it a second. All right. So now that it's now that it is exported out, we can now go and open it in Marvel Designer. Don't close it. We don't want you to close it yet because we still need the body to stay in this position, um, like we have it here in Blender. I mean, you can save it if you want to. If you can't open up Marvel Designer and Blender at the same time on your computer, but we don't want to close that while it's in that position. So um, we can leave Blender. Just you know, go back to our desktop. And now we can go and open up Marvelous Designer. So I will see you guys in Marvelous Designer where I'll explain to you the basic controls and then how to start making our t-shirt. Oh, well, our t-shirt and pants. <laughs> all right, see you guys in the next video, all right?